Hey there everyone, my name is Eduardo Arroyo, but you can call me Ed, and today we're here exploring the Johnson Space Center here in Houston, Texas. Yes, you guys, you heard that right. Today we're here in Houston, Texas to visit one of the most popular destinations of the city and the number one destination for international visitors here in Texas. This place is a science and space learning center and the official visitor center of NASA. It is really hard to imagine anyone who isn't just fascinated with space and what's out there. I can tell you that I've always been interested in this kind of stuff, so I'm beyond excited for today. The goal for today is very simple, to show you what this place has to offer so that we can all have a better understanding and appreciation for this place. In order to do this, we're gonna set ourselves loose to explore what there is to see and learn. So if you guys are interested, come with me. Okay, Houston, right. we've had a problem here. This is Houston, say again, please. Uh, Houston, we've had a problem. We've had a beep, beep, plus one right. Hey there you guys, so we're about to go inside, but before that, I just wanna let you guys know that the goal of this place is to educate visitors about the exciting future and remarkable past of America's human spaceflight program. This place is great for students, families, and their kids to explore and enjoy themselves as they learn about science and space. This place is really busy right now. Check it out, all these people here. So let's go in and check it out. Whoa, check it out you guys. This is what you see once you go inside, the different exhibits and stuff, and then just a bunch of people. So guys, I've been walking around and there's so many things to do right here. Like as soon as you go in, there's so many exhibits and things you can do here with your kids and family. But one of the things that they recommend to do is a tram tour of uh, the Space Center. They take you to a place where you can see a spaceship and to other locations that I'm not sure exactly what you could see there. But let me show you the line. So this is just a section. If we keep walking, guys, I'll show you. It keeps going, it keeps going, it keeps going. It looks endless at this point. And over there, I don't know if you can see, but right there, that's the end of the line. That's where you get on, on the tram. The tram tour is included in your ticket. That's why there's a lot of people waiting for it. This thing is saturated. My brother is taking one for the team right now. He's waiting in line. I'm just gonna do a quick exploration of this place as the line keeps moving on. One of the things that you can see here in Space Center in Houston is a wall full of pictures of different astronaut teams. Check it out. And check out this sign, it says here that each picture depicts an official crew portrait. Let's check out some of them. So this one, STS-126. Boom, looking nice. STS-127 is not behind though. Boom. It's really cool because you can see like on their shoulder, there's like a patch and you can see what country they're from. Of course, most of the teams are uh, composed of uh, Americans, but as you can see there, that guy's from Sweden. This team is composed of US and Russian astronauts. Check it out. Italy represented right here by this man. Japan, of course. And Germany, check it out. Before coming here, I was doing some research of this place, and then I just started looking at like multiple countries, like space uh, programs and stuff, and a lot of them don't launch like rockets into space, like the US or Russia, but they do have like a research facility to see how that's gonna impact like their country's economy and how can they like act so that they could take advantage of that. Pretty cool, if I do say so myself. And over here, you guys, you can check like the different spacesuits that have been used in history. On the side of this displays, you can see like a little bit of the history behind these things. And then you can check out the suits 
yourselves. Isn't that crazy? I think this one is just what they used on the weekends. There's more spacesuits over here. Check it out. Really cool ones. This I'm guessing is what you have like below the suit and stuff. It looks like a scuba diving suit or something. This one right here. This one is what I think when someone says spacesuit. A little bit of a closer look. Boom. This looks like a, I don't know, something you would see in like in a Japanese movie or something. Like what people thought astronauts look way back in the day. All right, you guys, we're gonna go ahead and leave our spacesuit people alone. I'm gonna go ahead and check out how my brother is doing. The line is still long, but it's moving. That is the famous, and now in famous because of this long line, tram tour. But we're close. We made it through you guys. That was just the line for another huge line. It's funny and it's even funnier when it's true. I feel so bad for the people who are still in the line inside. We're so close, yet so far. We're on the tram you guys, the tour is about to start. I think what they said is that um, if you get to Rocket Park, which is the next location we're going to, if you get there by 3 p.m., you can get to see another tour. You have to choose between two. But if you don't get there by three, then you can only go to Rocket Park. How many small children that cannot fully reach their feet to the ground? We ask you, please put them in the center of the road. I think uh, we're almost here at Rocket Park. Wow, it's actually, it looks pretty awesome from here. The first thing that you see whenever you go into Rocket Park is this rocket right here, check it out. It's big. And the plaque right here tells you a little bit of information about this, even its name, <laughs> Little Joe the Second. And it's just right here on this play. Check that out, you guys. There's another rocket right behind that one. This one right here, this other one is the Mercury Red Zone. It plays the first Americans in space. Oh, this is like a sponge of some sort. And over here, this is metal. And then on the side, I don't know what this is exactly. Oh, this is an engine, you guys. And here it tells you more details about it and the specifications, all the specs. Let me give you a better angle, you guys, just so that you can see it better. But there's an even bigger one, a third engine right here. So the tiny engine over there, like a medium sized one, I guess. And then boom, that's the big boy right there. We're gonna go ahead and go inside Rocket Park. There's a facility right here and there's a lot of people going in. So let's see what we can find inside. Check it out, you guys. This thing is impressive and it goes all the way to the end over there. If you thought the engines outside were big, check this ones out. And these are five, a cluster of five huge ones. Crazy stuff, guys. This is one rocket, but in different stages. And you have information right next to them. So this is the first section right here, as you can see. There's a section right there with information that tells you kind of like the process of how it happens. This, this thing right here, uh, it dislatches from the rocket and it serves to propel this thing all the way to space. I don't know if you can see that well, but this section, that is what I'm talking about. Moving to the next section right here. This is the information for the second stage. This basically directs the rocket to their destination. This allows the rocket to kind of steer in this direction so that they can land. As you can see, it also has the different engines right at the back. That's where I was at the beginning. Now I'm here 
and I still have some more to go. Check it out. The last part, this is where I'm guessing the astronauts go in. Let's see the information plaque right there. See if I'm right. And I think I'm right. If I understood this correctly, there's like two different like sections at the end, right? That is what they used to land. There's like a mini like ship that they used to land on like Earth or the moon or whatever. And then this stays like up in space. And once they're done with their mission, they go up in space and they get on the second one, which then they use to come back. I don't know if that made any sense, but that's what I got from that information right there. So I made it to the end, you guys. And if I pan my camera just like that, you can see the magnitude of this thing. This thing is humongous. I think over there, there's a section where you can like look inside. Let's go check out that section of the ship. In here, you get a sneak peek of what you can see inside. This one right here is hollow. And in here, you can see like the cabling necessary for just this particular section of the ship. Can't even imagine what it took to take people to space. Mind blowing stuff, I'm telling you guys. I have to come back to reality. I don't even know where my brother is. They're just a sea of people as far as the eye can see. I'm gonna go ahead and join him and pretend like nothing happened. these people waiting to be taken back. Crazy to think that there's still a huge line inside. No one's happy. We're finally moving guys. All the people over there are still waiting. We're back you guys. We're gonna take advantage of the last like 20 minutes that we have available and check out the different things that we couldn't see here at the beginning. There's a section right here dedicated to like Mars exploration. It's like interactive exhibits that you can check out. And over here there's a section related to Martian life. They have a question mark because it basically talks about like different places on Earth. This is Yellowstone. This is somewhere in Spain. They have like very similar like characteristics to Mars, the planet. And here you guys, there's apparently a Mars rock or a meteorite that formed in Mars and then it was blasted away. And it's here for people to touch. Where I'm going. I touched a piece of Mars, you guys. And over here, you can take a look. This is supposed to mimic like the Mars landscape. And as you walk, there's like dust that you lift up as you're walking. Check it out. There's like little dust particles. And over here, you can learn more about the Martian landscape. Check it out, you guys. And other characteristics of the planet. Let's explore over here, you guys. Let's see what we can find. There's a section over here where you can check the gravity differences. The Earth backpack was pretty heavy. I think that was it, you guys. There's like security personnel that is coming, kicking everyone out. I don't think anyone had time to check out everything. Hopefully you guys liked whatever I was able to record and that you guys were able to learn at least a little something, you know? If you guys liked the video, make sure you support my channel by subscribing and by clicking on the like button down below. Anyways, you guys, I'm just gonna have to call it a day. But before, I just wanna remind you to be kind, have an open mind. I'll see you next time.